Hello everyone, welcome back to this tutorial. This tutorial is a remake of my whole tutorial about how to make a pull in your score, this one. But as many of you requested that uh, the sound was not that good and it's almost one year since this tutorial and I, I think there is many things to change in this uh, tutorial so let's go to this one and redo this tutorial this will be the fastest way to create a pool in Lusco so here is the scene as you can see we have wall simple wall and we also have a nice jerry light all around the scene that you can see here I have a nice jerry set up here you can see it here okay nice you can see nothing interesting nothing very complicated i have also just a simple cube and some rudimental shape here so now you want to create your pool what you need to do is just to take the surface here duplicate the face make a separate uh, object select the same face subdivide a little bit like this okay interesting and then you already have a pool um, shader inside of Lusco just uh, enable the Lusco online library assets here and the end panel and then you get all the the assets then you have to go for glass transparent and go for the pool water here just enable it make sure you have uh, okay when it's done you can look for the render yeah and you see you just have a green water okay with some kind of bump all around there is already some displacement applied to the shader yeah and as you can see it is very strong and the uh, color is too saturated so you need to change the saturation here by increasing the absorption value number something like this or maybe something like uh, uh, like this three is a good value or four okay interesting you also to make sure that the orientation of the normal is correct okay it's fine and you have to reduce the level of the shape to make the the wave less uh, sharp as you can see here uh, let's use some half the number this is correct and then you can launch your render as you can see we get nothing okay how to solve this issue you just have to come over here and enable in the cache setting photon gi cache but we don't want the indirect light cache this time we want the caustic cache by enable it you, you can reduce the number of the photon used to render this end so your cache computing will be fast and then you can set up your your cache here so let's render before we come back to speak about all the setting here so by changing just uh, by checking the caustic light cache here you can see that you have uh, some change inside of the water even the color of the water change because you have more light passing through the water object here but as you can see we have some very splotchy caustic here so we need to make the caustic sharp what parameter you need to change for that it is this one you have the lookup radius the layer the bigger this number is the the splotchy and large the caustic uh, and less detailed the caustic will be so for this one let's go for 0 0.05 so we have very sharp caustic and also let's start with this one and we can also reduce the minimum radius related to this one so this uh, number have to be uh, always to be 
smaller than this one so this is the minimum uh, scale size of the caustic so as i have a five here let's go for one so we have some relation between them and let's change the slot here and you see okay as you can see here i have much sharper caustic compared to the previous render because i have a very small lookup radius and also a minimum radius here so my larger caustic radius will be 0.05 and the smaller caustic size will be 0.01 okay as you can see and it's pretty fast because all the caustic calculation is done by the cpu and i am on gpu for the normal diffuse path calculation and also you have another parameter here it is a step sample the wider the value is the, the larger the value is the the less uh, the caustic cache will be updated um, if, if you set something uh, like a two the engine will concentrate more on the caustic and if you set something higher you have less concentration of the computation on the on the caustic but most of the time you will have to leave it to the 18 values it is commonly good for most of the parameter you can see it does not change very much how the thing look this is it and also you can mix uh, the caustic cache with the light tracing so the light tracing uh, will be used for the simple caustic that we can you, we get here and the caustic cache will be used for the specular diffuse specular caustic aka uh, pool caustic so just uh, enable the light tracing so you will have these parts of the caustic the normal caustic calculated by the light tracing and only the specular diffuse specular sds uh, caustic calculated by the caustic cache so let's render it so as you can see we have less noise the light tracing is using for this part of the caustic and the caustic cache is used for this part thank you for watching this tutorial and see you the next time